<laughs> I remember the first time I saw you here. The first time we ever saw each other in this club. The first time I met the person that I could just feel that was going to be mine. That first time was a night like any other. A long day of work. A long day of feeling numb. A long day of nothing special. And then, all of a sudden, like lightning struck, you were there. Just sitting there, staring at me like all the others. Staring at the hottest girl in this place, dancing in the middle of the room. Every time I walk in here, crowds part. I get guys asking for my number. Lots of guys. I get free drinks. I get guys trying to dance with me. I mean, who can blame them? There's not a lot of celebrities that just go out to the same club every single day. But then again, I'm a creature of habit. I'm only going to stop going here if I move across the world and the only way that'll happen is if I get you. 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 The most gorgeous creature on earth. I've never even talked to you. I've heard your voice. I've heard how people talk about you. But they're always so... Rude. They talk about your shyness like it's a sin. They talk about that slouch like it isn't hiding your beautiful figure. I know the tactics you use to hide who you really are. To make a wall around yourself to stop anyone from being able to truly appreciate you. A diamond and the rock, still trapped in a layer of stone, just waiting for someone to get you out, to get you to shine. <laughs> I wonder if you know, I mean, undoubtedly you know who I am. They advertise with this being my favorite club all the time, even if you haven't spoken to me. Haven't heard my songs or seen the movies I'm in. You'd at least know my face. You'd have seen a poster, an advertisement, something. A short flash of my face. Maybe if I talked to you, you'd begin to stutter, all shy and embarrassed. Because why would someone like me Talk to someone like you. Why would you be worthy of such an honor? You don't even know how addicted to the thought of you I am. You can't even imagine how much I want to walk over there. How much I want to see you dance. Especially dancing with me, but maybe that'd be too fast. Maybe it'd shut down and run away because... You don't have the confidence yet. You've become so good at protecting yourself and hiding away your shine. So good that I think I'm the only one who can see it. I'm sure that you've been learning to hide that shine for the wrong reason. People always act like the things they don't understand are bad. Like, the best things in life don't take some getting used to. They shun people for being different. Kids bully each other for being outside of the norm. And people like you suffer under it. People who are special. Who are above and beyond. Who are simply so much more delectable than anyone else. Then when you get a taste of them, you get addicted. People like that are pushed.
pushed into that box of being different in a bad way. Well, really, they're better than any of the people pushing them into the box. But I'm here for you now. <laughs> I just need to figure out how to open the box. How to tell you that you're worth so much more than you think. How to get you out of the armor that you built around yourself so you can be vulnerable. Only to see that you didn't need the armor to begin with. You're special. You. You're the only thing worth coming back for. Over and over again. They don't know it. You don't know it. Nobody but me knows why I just keep coming back here. But every time I see your face, I'm reminded of it again. I'm reminded of how long I've been planning. Of the private detective I hired to learn more about you. About the psychiatrist I've talked to to see how I could help you best. I've got a plan now. A good plan. A plan that will help you break down your walls so that once we finally lock eyes, once we finally meet officially, you won't be scared. Because I don't want you to be scared. I want you to put your hands on me. To dance with me, to feel the music pounding as you dance with someone who deep down you still think is out of your league, but once you know what you started by coming here, looking so amazing, once you know everything I want to do to you, then We'll only dive in deeper and deeper together, knowing that it'll end someplace wonderful. Mm, knowing that once it's all over and done, we'll be together forever. Now, I just need to wait and see when the agency I hired sends in their professional. <laughs> Mm. It's really a shame that I have to hire someone else to build up your confidence without scaring you off. I so wish I could do it myself, but it'd be too much too fast. Oh, wait. Is that how the agency sent? Hmm. Pretty good choice. Attractive, but... Not intimidatingly so. Now, all I have to do is flirt with you for a bit. Tell you all the things I want to say. How cute your smile is. How your eyes glisten with this. This gorgeous twinkle when you see something that excites you. All the things I'd tell you if I could just get close. If you just let me. Hmm. Wait. What is that drink? It's fizzy and it's got some... Some sort of stuff in it. Are they... Are they trying to drug you? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. This wasn't what was meant to happen. They were supposed to flirt with you, help you slowly build your confidence not to, to, to do something so vile and disgusting. They can't do that, not to you, it's, what are they even thinking? I need to make my way over there, I need to intercept. If they get you to drink that, who the hell knows what'll happen? What kind of disgusting powder could they have dumped in that drink to make you... I do. I shouldn't think about it. Come on, come on. Let me through. 
through, you mindless whore drunk dancing idiot. Love is on the line here. Come on, let me get to you first. I need to get to you first. I need to. Hey there. Oh, don't be so scared. You know we hang out here. Everybody does. It's one of the main selling points of this place, isn't it? Why would I talk to you? Well, why wouldn't I, cutie? Especially when you're in trouble. See that person walking away right there? The one with the two drinks. They were headed straight for you, and they think I saw them put some sort of powder into one of the drinks. Not entirely sure what was going on, but I was fairly certain that nothing good would come of it. Just a gut feeling. You know? Hmm, you know, I've seen you here a lot of times before. Most of the regulars that were here before I became a regular know me pretty well by now. I've talked to pretty much all of them on a regular basis. Except for you. You're very elusive. A mysterious and attractive quality, but I'm sure you're doing it intentionally. Aren't you? Not good enough? What could you possibly mean? Even the gutter looks up to the stars, dear. Everything and everyone is in the same league, as some people describe it. There is no such thing as too good for you or out of your league. You'd be surprised who's the perfect match for who sometimes. And I'm not saying that just to be nice either. I'd actually rather enjoy knowing your name, if you don't mind telling me. <laughs> oh, that's like music to my ears. You see, I would tell you my own name, but I think you've seen enough movie posters, advertisements, songs... All kinds of other media to figure that one out, you know? But anyways, what brings you to this place? I always see you here. Every second week on Fridays, it's almost routine. You're always just sitting in your corner, watching the people dancing, drinking a little bit, but not getting very active. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think of you as a weirdo who sits in the corner at all. I'm actually rather curious. I used to be able to sit on a chair on this little cafe together with my friend group, but the more famous I got, the more I need to perform. Not just in front of a camera, but in other situations as well. I have people constantly talking me into getting a superiority complex, but in all reality, I'm just like everyone else. I'm just slightly more famous than most people, but there is no need to get shy around me, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Please don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you, dear. I just want to love you. I just want to care for you, caress you. I want to hold you and tell you everything will be alright. I want us to be lovers, like in a fairy tale. I would have never hired anyone if I knew they'd try to drug you. Uh, see? You get it? Now, do you mind if I sit down opposite to you? If anyone comes here looking for an autograph or something, and they make you uncomfy, I can just tell them to go away. That's no issue at all. I'd rather have you feel safe than give my millionth autograph to my biggest fan. You know, actually, I'd rather not talk about myself. Whenever I introduce myself to someone new, it's always somewhat frustrating that they want to know all about me. 
It's like a whole press conference every time I just want to get to know someone, so... Would you mind if we talk about you first? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So, my first questions are the more obvious ones. What's your name? Where are you from? What brings you here so often? And, most importantly, why do you seem so shy? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I'd say that you're trying to hide your real figure with that posture. You never drink anything heavily alcoholic, so you probably want to make sure you don't get drunk and overshare. It's like you're always holding back. Even now that we're talking, like you have this great big secret that you need to hide. And if anyone figures it out, they'll never want to speak to you again. But, I don't think it's as bad as you think it is. <laughs> mm, well, not to say I know you better than you know yourself, but I'm a pretty good judge of character. And I'd say that you've only got things to be proud of behind that veil of secrecy. If I had to guess. <laughs> well, if you don't want me to talk to you, you can walk away. I won't keep you here. I'll even apologize for coming up to you if you really, truly can look me in the eyes and say you don't think there's a bit of truth in my words. See? So, now that we've got that established, how about this? We get out of here together, find some place lonely, where you feel comfy and I don't have to think about the paparazzi. And we talk until we can't keep our eyes open anymore. How does that sound? Hmm. <laughs> Good. Then, follow me to my car. Tell me, have you ever been in a penthouse? Oh my god. That went a million times better than I'd expected. Maybe... Maybe I underestimated you, my dear. We'll see if there's more ways in which you'll surprise me tonight. Eek. <laughs> 